Virgos, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, you guys. Let's see what your love messages are for the end here of July. All right, let's take a look. Um, if you're new, please do smash that subscribe button. This is a channel for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And as usual, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits. Leave the rest. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, self-indulgence, <laughs> a love call, and a date. Okay, focusing on yourself, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation, and you have a love call. Someone is calling. Hello. Someone's calling to express their love, a message of love, thinking of you, letting you know, and a date, meeting somebody, uh, dating, getting back out there, plus uh, planning and setting a date. Oh, lovely. Wow, Virgo. This is awesome. Looks like you're really indulging in all the, um, the sweetness of self, realizing your worth healing taking some time out appreciating yourself working on that shadow work looking on all that you know nasty yucky stuff that you probably feel like now you need to if you haven't already been doing this virgo going in and healing the self okay um but yeah, I mean, Virgo, you're getting a call. You're getting a phone call. And we will take a look and see who's giving you a call and asking you out, whoa, on a date. Okay, let's get into this reading, Virgo. Oh, my goodness. It's if So it's surprisingly, because some of you, I know you're like, oh, my, my phone's been dry as a bone forever. And now that, you know, you decide to go within hermit mode, take some time out, indulge in self, now you get a love call and somebody asks you out for a date. Are you ready? Okay. Are you ready? Could be meeting somebody new or this could be just connecting with someone. Let me see. All right. What does Virgo need to know here? Okay. We've got the chariot. All right. Cancer energy. Okay. Movement forward. Someone's... Okay. This, this feels like an energy somebody coming towards you um, traveling moving in your direction this is a card of balance let's see what else do we have here for you virgo that chariot that chariot energy is like making plans and taking action and this somebody here okay making plans to connect with you taking some action might be um do you want to meet up going to be in the area um, I can pick you up for a date oh wow okay well now this person's coming in with a lot of anxiety and stress so they're running towards you um, they're coming towards you oh my goodness five of cups yeah this is somebody who's coming towards you out of grief they have a anxiety and fear and um, just regret there's regret here. Um, somebody's regretting something. Okay, let's see. Somebody's sitting in a position of sorrow. They miss you. Um, but you could also be getting a call from somebody new as well. Let me see here. This could be somebody new. For some of you, this is somebody that you, um, I just heard sorry for what they said. And this might be uh, maybe somebody new that came into your life that you just decided that you were just going to take some healing time and just go within and do you. And now uh, maybe this was somebody who was trying to date you. And now they're coming in like... Where, where are you? Where did you go? What are you doing? This person feels a sense of loss. Okay. And reaching out to tell you that they've been thinking of you. Okay. All right. King of Wands. So we've got fire energy here. This looks like it's a King of Wands, Sagittarius, Leo, uh, and Aries. Okay. Yep. That's who it is. 
it's or mars energy this is somebody who's very bold and passionate and virgo you know some of you might be turning this down this invitation to get together with someone or getting or go back out there some of you might not be ready for that um you're like busy building your own empire focusing on yourself doing what you need to do for you let me see but this king of wands is showing up here uh, they're racing towards you out of fear and out of regret and out of um there's like a fear of abandonment or feeling unloved missing you they have remorse so is this somebody that you knew before it very well could be i mean it wouldn't be somebody new because who would if it's somebody new you know i mean it doesn't make sense because then they wouldn't be feeling sad without you or feeling lost without you all right let's see now for others i have to just give you this message you could be getting a love call you could be meeting somebody new and receiving a love call from another person and this new person here not showing up why because they're new all right this feels like you're getting some kind of a love call but we can take a look let's see you know who is this new person actually i know what i'm gonna do they just told me okay hold on let me organize this for a second yeah okay we've got three we have a th we have three situations here okay so yeah you're getting a love call from someone who's regretful who's missing you there's a message or a text expressing their love they're stressed they're having nightmares they can't sleep they think about you all the time they have a lot of regret remorse they're in a position of grief and they're boldly going where no one dares to go before and that's straight to your heart and I don't think this is something that this person would normally do. So, you know, even if you don't have this person, like if they're blocked, they're going to somehow get in through some kind of message or love call. Let me take a look. Oh, let's take a look at you. Okay. You, cause you're sitting here in the position of self-indulgence, healing yourself, taking some time out for you, focusing on your gifts your blessings what you want to do for yourself what you what you for some of you you know what you need to do for yourself okay okay so look at you yeah wow okay virgo you've got the five of wands wow you've re you've retreated due to a lot of conflict there's been conflict Okay, um, competition, obstacles, challenges in your life. And I feel like for you, you just are in hermit mode presently going into the rest of this month. You're not trying to compete with anybody. It's too much. There's drama, a lot of drama. You're pulling yourself away from drama, um, whether that's with other people. Uh, maybe there's like a lot of drama online. Um, a lot of drama in dating sites if you were on there um, work type things you're just trying not to get involved too much and just kind of take on your own okay your own path all right you've got the eight of wands as well so I feel like uh, you're waiting for something you some news you're waiting for something to come in you're waiting to hear about something so i feel like you're you know kind of pulled your energy back until you get this it's good news you're waiting to hear some good news and you're not going out and stirring up any trouble <laughs> i feel um there might be a lot of competition you might be waiting for um hmm you're just seeing maybe a reward or an award or something that you know that you deserve or you're for some of you you're just like i'm gonna sit here and let love come to me i'm gonna let love come to me i'm not gonna go out it just it's too fierce out there it's a lot of competition a lot of obstacles challenges it's hard to trust people you don't know people come into your life and just cause a lot of problems and drama so you know you're like no i'm just gonna focus on myself and if if you know love comes in 
Cupid's arrow strikes, then Cupid's arrow strikes. And I'm just going to stay very still and present. So I feel like for you, you're in self-protective mode right now. Self-appreciation, self-worth, focusing on self. You're all about yourself right now. All right, let me see. Okay. All right. Two pentacles. Some of you have like this major decision. You're trying to weigh some options and you're not really sure there's a lot of drama involved with that and for some of you it's like okay whoever races to me whoever gets here first i'll cross that bridge when i get to it you might have two options that you're trying to make a decision about you're also trying to just keep balance and weigh things out okay so you're basically leaving everyone and everything out in the cold virgo you're like i'm not dealing with any shit stains in my life I'm not having any junk go on in my life. Um, I don't want any drama. I want things simple. Oh, I want to keep things simple. I'm keeping to myself. You know, if somebody approached me, I feel like your motto here is, you know, what's meant for me will be for me, and there isn't anything I can do about it. And what isn't, well, it's not anything you do. You don't have to chase it. And what isn't meant for you isn't meant for you. Okay, so you're kind of sitting in this position of like, I'm just doing me. Now, as far as new, king of wands or king of sorry swords popped out here so there's somebody new this is new this is not your past person this is um somebody who's showing up here asking you for a date okay gemini libra aquarius i know some of you are like i am not getting involved with an air sign again okay um let me see who is this person okay seven of wands <gasps> Oh my goodness, I have the King of Pentacles. Okay, male or female energy. So, wow, Virgo. <laughs> I feel like there's two people coming in here, an earth sign and an air sign coming towards you. So you've got basically, <laughs> you've got someone from your past that you're going to be getting a phone call from or someone may not be from your past, deep past, but somebody who's regret regretting a loss is remorseful okay it, it does show up as a king of wands it doesn't have to be that sign but it is someone who comes in with fiery passionate bold energy okay this is their personality um i mean they could be like a stubborn taurus or they could be like a sleepy pisces but the way they're showing up here is emboldened um emboldened and i feel like they have like their anxiety and their their sadness and their grief is driving them towards you towards reaching out but there's two new people here um there's going to be competition between these two i don't know they might know each other there's definitely communication uh coming up with this um ace of swords okay so let me see what else do we want to look at you know there is no the only major arcana here is the chariot so you might get a phone call somebody tells you either they bought they're buying you a new car or they bought a new car okay that person you know who's going to be calling okay yeah so the overall message is there's a lot of change happening here and it looks like it's happening in your favor um be, because mostly because you're focusing on yourself and you're doing i just i just get an energy you're like not looking outward anymore you're just manifesting building and creating with the magician what is best for you at this time which direction you want to go for yourself and you you are the one who is making these changes even though the energy is shifting in your favor you're not fighting it you're like okay i'm gonna do what i gotta do here and I feel like, okay, so you have all this major arcana after I said that now is showing up. You have major arcana of nothing but movement and design. Um, you're going out on a limb. Some of you are going back to a church uh, as part of their healing or you're getting into spiritual healing. Um, but you're stepping out here, Virgo, for yourself, I feel. And that's when all this energy starts coming in that's when all of a sudden 
you know, somebody's missing you and they want to talk to you. Um, they have a lot of loss. You've got two new people showing up here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And again, they don't have to be those exact signs, but one person is a really strong communicator, very witty, quick on their feet. And the other is very grounded and like a business person. All right, let me see. You also have Gemini, Scorpio, I said Taurus, and Aquarius. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Yep. Here comes the love, Virgo. Right when you're like, you took the bullseye off your chest, some of you. I mean, not forever. I just feel like some of you are just like, oh, I'm taking a break. I'm not going after. I'm not chasing anybody. If people come in, you know, it, it's not even like you may not even be really taking a full break. You've just redirected your eyesight back onto yourself, you know, refocusing the energy on self. All right, let me see. I'm going to get some love messages here for let's take a look at this love phone call. What is this person trying to say to you, Virgo? Okay, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. I feel like there's regret. This person stays awake thinking about you. They're always, they always think about it. They can't get you out of their head. I mean, they have so much anxiety and stress about it and missing you so much that they can't even sleep at night. Or they're up all night thinking about you. And okay, this person wants to take back their words. They wish they could take back their words. I wonder what words were said. What did this person say to you? Hmm. For some of you, they told you they didn't love you or they weren't in love with you or yeah, something with, it was a phrase with the love word in it or something that they said, whatever they said, caused you to walk away and now they're regretting it okay yep, there's the love word this person loves you <laughs> and i feel like they that's what they're they they might have told you that they didn't love you or they weren't in love with you but the truth is they they do love you and now they wish they and they want to come back in and <laughs> try to replenish let me take a look at what your love messages are up here at the top for you as you're going through you're just like, I feel you, Virgo. You're just like, exhale. You know what? I'm going on vacation. I'm shutting off my phone. I'm getting off the computer. I'm just, I'm working on my business. I just don't want to be. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's so funny. Unavailable. This is you. Okay. This person is unavailable to give you all you deserve. Uh, this is you. You're unavailable to give anybody all of you because maybe you did in the past. You gave a lot of yourself and now you're like, nope, I'm done giving. And it's not because you're being mean. It's not manipulative. It's like I'm giving to myself now. I am. I am. I have nothing left. <laughs> maybe you've become emotionally unavailable. And then like all this love comes in. <laughs> Virgo, I know, right? You can't win for losing, right? Because you're here you are, you know, you're leaving people out in the cold. <laughs> you know, you've got like five pentacles left on your tree there out in the winter cold freezer energy here. And it's just like, this is all I got left to work with. I'm taking my five pentacles and I'm going the hell home. <laughs> Virgo. Seriously. All right, let me take a look and see what is the love message with this King of Swords. Okay, it's King of Swords secretly longing for you. Okay, this must be, hmm, you'll, either you'll meet them and this person's like, they'll, they'll be carrying around a napkin, wiping the corners of their lips, all the drool. They'll be longing for you. <laughs> Okay, okay, all right, all right. And then this King of Pentacles. And I hope you guys, please forgive me if I sound kind of like, I don't like a surfer dude. I'm like super, super exhausted from my weekend and I'm just half asleep here. 
All right, let me see what this King of Pentacles, this love message. Okay. Ooh, this person's coming into your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Ooh, doesn't feel like a bad, it's not a bad thing. Um, a, a very, okay. This is how these both, they're, they're giving you some spiritual truths, okay? This, this King of Pentacles. Let me see. This is someone who's like coming in with the light bulb moment. They're going to help you with something. And I'm going to look and so oh, they're going to bring clarity. Okay. This King of Pentacles. It could be a spiritual teacher. Remember I said some of you were going, maybe you're getting some like, you know, you're going into dip your bucket in the spiritual well to get some healing in or something. And this person, it's like they show up, they become significant in your life. Let me see. Okay, yeah. They help bring balance. Um, this person is going to tell you. It's going to be some kind of conversation. I don't feel like they're coming in like a love thing. They might, but they might have this overarching energy about them where they might say, you know, you give way too much. You deserve everything you give in return, all the good that you've given out. I mean... I just feel like this person is very spiritual, okay? Um, yeah, they're showing up. They could show up as a friend first, but then it turns into like some kind of date or maybe coffee date or something. I just want to get another message for this King of Swords. I'm kind of like freestyling here, okay? Oh, protected. This person's a protector. Okay, they just told me this person either, either they're in the military or they work for the government. Um, or they work in social type of service industry, like firefighter, police, okay? They could be like a lawyer um, or a politician, but they're on the good side, whatever your good side is, <laughs> okay? So, oh gosh, Virgo, this reading is insanity. So yeah, you are just like, I'm doing me, boo. You're doing what you need to do for yourself. And of course, you got some past person calling back, uh, giving you a call. They regret not telling you that they love you and that they, you know, they don't want to let you go and they still keep thinking about you. And you've got two new people showing up here. All right, so your first card here, you have transition. So this is um, a message here. The end to suffering is upon you. All with the old, in with the new. Um, and even though this isn't easy, the season in your life is transforming and bringing you into a new hemisphere. Allow it to happen. Go with the flow. It's now time for change. That's a beautiful message. Okay. And you have endure and be patient, Virgo. Okay. Yeah. You know, Virgo, believe it or not, everything works out in the end <laughs> it really does sometimes like 90 percent of the things we fear aren't really things that are going to happen or are happening it's usually just all in our heads fear has a way of magnifying everything okay a lusty fiery spirit Ooh, what's this oh okay this doesn't feel negative to me I just feel like you're going to get that spark back in yourself if you feel like you've lost some kind of spark and you're just retreating or if there was a lot of drama and conflict and somebody left you out in the cold or people, places and things or if you just feel kind of lost. So you're going in and you're comforting yourself, you know, at this time. You're, you're giving a lot of self hugs. You're curling up with your favorite blanket you're getting into your shows you're you know reading passages self-help books you know you're taking time to be in your garden you're spending time with people you know who really care you're unavailable at this time for drama and conflict okay and i think you're still going to be that way but i feel like you're going within to try to get your spark back that fire that fire that you had in your soul at one point okay and of course you know life keeps moving on and you go and do what you have you have to do for yourself and then people come out of the woodwork as 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 usual 
you know um let me see what else okay yeah wow you're in reflection mode you're in your cave you've gone in to regroup and recollect virgo because a lot is going on you need some alone time so your advice is to stay in the stillness and the quiet but don't get lost there just take a temporary time out tell people you're taking a vacation if you have to but pull your energy back so you can get a good recharge you know that's like taking your phone putting it on the charger leaving it in the other room not taking any calls and just leaving it alone for a minute a new york minute you know um a power hour however long you need to do it just so that you can breathe and regroup recharge figure out what the heck you're doing with yourself or i just feel like that's why you have that two of pentacles because you're trying to weigh your options here um it could be people could be trying to weigh up date options it could also just be like getting some balance in your life at this time and figuring out you know getting yourself stable and grounded and figuring it out like okay what do i want to do what's the better path for me and right now telling people you know i'm unavailable right now for dating um maybe in a week maybe in a month i don't know i've got some stuff i'm taking care of that makes you more attractive because whenever you're in self-care mode that because whenever you're a little you know come on whenever you're a little unattainable a little unavailable i mean you might say yeah we'll have coffee but for most of you it's kind of like i'm not committing to anything i'm committing to self right now and i need to keep doing that all right let me see what your love messages are okay express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture so that kind of feels to me like you know if you are unavailable for dating anybody or you just like i don't know right now or yeah, this this is kind of like if somebody reaches out you could say you know what kind of busy right now um but i would love to go out and have dinner or something with you um i would just love that but can i get a rain check right now you know that's a form of expressing your love like you're making a romantic gesture it doesn't say go ahead and initiate the romantic gesture it's just like stay in your love energy stay in the love circle okay don't go into the bitter hate circle where you get like isolated and you get real down on yourself for whatever's going on in your life because like that card said you know take some time out but don't get lost there don't go down the rabbit hole let me see okay and then for some of you also give this relation give a relationship a chance work on this partnership okay so you could be telling everybody you're not available at this time can we get a rain check um, or you could be telling these two people um, and giving this past person a chance or you could be giving one of these people a chance and telling the past person rain check okay um, so that's going to be up to you i'm not going to tell you what to do okay that's going to be up to you but one of these you're being kind of nudged a little to work on a partnership so i don't know who that's going to be you'll have to see but let me see normally if it was just one person showing up here i might be able to okay calling in your soulmate okay hmm well, I'm putting call and call together here. Um, yeah, this kind of feels like you're going to be a little undecided. I feel like you love somebody a real lot and somebody loves you a real lot here. Like so much so they can't stop thinking about you and they have a lot of regret. But I don't know that you're going to commit to anybody just yet. Okay. Um, your soulmate's definitely calling and you have been kind of manifesting this a little bit um but i don't know that i don't know that you've been manifesting someone to like give you a call <laughs> i don't think that's been happening but maybe you've been praying okay you've been maybe praying and sending positive affirmations to somebody um 
in terms of like getting their healing while you're getting yours with not in necessarily the intention to get back together but just some forgiveness so that you can both move on but some others you've you've been like you know doing your prayers and hoping for healing for both of you and you do have other two other people coming in so <laughs> you got a lot on your plate virgo let me see what's going on here with the chinese signs okay so year of the rat we have year of the pig year of the tiger year of the rooster year of the ox year of the horse year of the dragon year of the snake okay could be you could be your other person it could be these two people coming in um let me get a couple of you know what they just said we're gonna do some names <clears throat> oh flipping right out here oh there's that dragon okay i just heard elizabeth or somebody um so with the initial the letter p okay um, let's see Somebody's got a bearded dragon, maybe, or lives somewhere where there um, are, what are those, lizards, a place where there's, listen, I'm up in the northeast of the U.S. We have no lizards here. If I saw a liver, lizard, liver, <clears throat> if I saw a lizard on the, the street, I would probably scream or squeal <laughs> not that I'm afraid of them because I had a bearded dragon once and I, I don't have a problem with reptiles but I, it would just shock me because we don't have those so this is an area where it's kind of humid or there's just that type of animal or species somewhere where there's a lot of these like Gila monsters I don't know what the heck they're called all right let me see And I just, they just said El Paso. So I don't know if there's lizards there, but they just gave me the, the name El Paso. Okay, let me see. Oh. Hmm. Okay, we've got the, le I, oh no, they just gave me the name Zach or Zachariah. Okay, and I'm seeing two children. Somebody has two children also. Oh, oh wow, okay. And somebody right now is kneeling down, or just knelt down. <laughs> kneeling, kneeling down or just knelt down. Oh, somebody's a writer, okay. And I just heard the word knuckle, knuckle. I don't know what that means. Knuckle or knock. Maybe you heard a knock at the door. Or somebody knocked on a door with their knuckles. Okay. All right. We have the letter K. Somebody's name starts with a K. And we have an H. And then I see you, somebody's texting and just the words hi. Somebody's saying hi to you. Also, um, some either it's either the age 61 or someone was born in 1961. Or they live, like apartment number is 61. We have a Q. I just heard they are heavily equipped. <laughs> Somebody is heavily equipped. What the heck does that mean? Or something is heavily equipped. Okay. And, okay. And somebody's just getting their PhD, but I'm hearing the name Phil or Philip 
or Philomena, it's a Phil name, P-H or F-I-L, could be a restaurant, like an Italian restaurant, Philomena, um, maybe that's a place you went to, or somewhere you're going to, um, or somebody's name, okay, let me get some charms and see, looks like it's going to be a very interesting rest of the year, or rest of July, Okay, ooh, here we go. We've got a swan. No, a flamingo. Flamingo, yeah, somewhere, wherever there's flamingos. Okay, so we have a Virgo showing up here. And let's see. Gemini, Taurus. Virgo, Gemini, Taurus. Okay, what the heck is that thing? Oh, I don't even, oh, okay. Somebody lives out where there's a lot of cornfields, they just said. They just said a lot. All right, so we've got swan, or flamingos and lizards. So that's in an area where those types of species are there. And then I'm just picking up like a cornfield. There's a cornfield somewhere. Okay, um, so we have, I'm picking up Pisces, Leo, Scorpio, we have Cancer as well. Okay, let me see. And there's also a ship's wheel. And this just makes me feel like you're, you know, you're at the helm. You have the wheel in your hand. Jesus, take the wheel. You're there. You're the that incubus song, Drive. You're like driving the ship now. It's, it's, you're making the, you're calling the shots. You're di dictating which way you're going to go in your life. I feel like that's part of your focusing on self and asking yourself, what do you want? Not just what everybody else wants. Okay. So we've got Scorpio and Libra. Could be on the cusp. Libra, Scorpio. There's Leo again. Okay. Um, August 28th, August 22nd, and 24th. Somebody's born in 83. We have 1972. Uh, somebody's 42. Somebody's born in December. Oh, this is 1944, so it might be a parent. Uh, maybe a, someone has a Sagittarius parent. Okay. Um, also, August, did I say August 2nd? Oh, and they're giving me April 27th as well. Let me see if we have any September birthdays. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, somebody is 40 years old. We have Pisces here twice and Capricorn. Um, okay, September 17th. The 11th, the 9th, the 1st, and the 4th. And if I didn't call your birth date, don't worry. It doesn't mean it's not your message. Um, and the 7th. Okay, hold on. Oh, now they're telling me. Did I say? Now I can't remember what I said. Did I say September 17th? And then I have the 19th. And now they're giving me the 14th and the year 1970. Wow. Okay. That was really interesting messages here for you, Virgo. I feel like, you know, you're doing what's best for you. And that's just the most important. That's the self-love thing that you have going on here. Um, you can't help it if people are coming out of the woodwork, you know, and you have to like just deal with them accordingly. I mean, if you want to give a past relationship a chance, it's entirely up to you. If you don't, I mean, it might just be too soon for some of you. Um, or you might just, like, in other words, like, you might not be healed yet from something. And for others, you might just be like, thanks. I'll always love you as well. And I wish you all the best. And maybe someday in the future we could be friends. And, and then you've got two other people here showing up. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And if you're currently involved with somebody right now, um, I do feel like somebody's going out of their, or will be going out of the way to protect this relationship, like, full force, okay? Just because they have such a strong thing for you here. I don't feel like somebody wants to run the risk of losing you. 
and wants to keep dating. So if you're involved with someone and that's hot, that's like healthy, um, whether somebody, that could be why some of you are like, no, I'm not going back to the past. I found someone. So for those of you, like, I want to try to give that message because I know there's some of you who listen and you're like, you know, I'm pretty good relationship. I just sometimes like to listen to the readings. I feel like your relationship's in good shape and we'll keep going forward in good shape. All right, Virgo. So don't forget to go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot. I'm going to be doing daily love messages, um, all signs. And at the end of that reading over on my other channel, um, I'm going to implement if you're dealing with a particular sign with the messages are there. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit similar to here. Um, but since it's not going to be specific, it'll be collective. You'll be able to get more messages over there as well. All right, you guys. So awesome to catch up with you. I hope you guys had a great weekend and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right. Love you.